Sabine und Michael, German Curriculum, Chapter 2, Section 2, G22. Wie geht's dir? That literally translates as how goes it for you. That would be an abbreviation, wie geht es dir? So how goes it, S is it, for you. How goes it you, literally. What that means, of course, is how are you. Wie geht's dir? How are you? Wie geht's Ihnen? It's the same, but it's the formal version. Remember, there's in German, there's a familiar, so if it's a peer, same age or something like that, you would say, wie geht's dir? If it's a teacher, an older person, whatever, you would say, wie geht's Ihnen? Wie geht es Ihnen? So how are you? In English, it's you, no matter which way you look at it, in modern English anyway. Gut is obviously good. Good answer for that. Danke, thanks, or thank you. Um, uh, no, actually, thank you would be danke dir. However, danke translates as thank you very often. And um, then there's also vielen Dank, many thanks. But right now we'll concentrate on danke, meaning thanks. And uh, then we have und dir and you. So that's a whole conversation right now. Wie geht's dir? Gut, danke. Und dir? Could be the answer. That would be uh, that, un, or und ihnen. You would say, wie geht es ihnen? And the person could answer, danke, gut. Und ihnen? Or gut, danke, und ihnen? So, you can make a whole little conversation right out of this, right there. So, fragt is asks, because die Frage is the question. Uh, nicht schlecht, not bad. Schlecht is bad, nicht is not, literally. So, and then there's ja, which of course is yes. Uh, then there's so, which does not mean the same thing as um, as in English. Um, in, in English, uh, so, uh, this kind of so is like now or anyway. Uh, it's a little bit different than in German, but um, anyway, it'll become clear later. Es geht, it goes, that's what that literally says, or it is going. Which means it's, you know, it's kind of okay, so-so. Uh, mir is me or myself, depending on how it is. Mir geht's, mir geht es so-so, you know, or mir geht's nicht schlecht, or something like that. Uh, that's how that is. So me can be mir, it could also be ich, but in this case it's uh, when you're talking about yourself that way, is how it is. Now we're going to continue with picture sequence. And the picture sequence is, for example, if you look at it, you can probably guess that Michael is asking Sabine, Wie geht's dir? So, how's it going for you? How? And uh, she says, Gut, that's the thumbs up, and uh, asks him, Und dir? And you? Now, they're not going to be formal because they're the same age. They're supposed to be high school students. Um, and he answers, well, probably... Schlecht, you know, so uh, that's the thumbs down, so he's not doing well at all. Now let's see what the text actually says and put it all together with the pictures. And here's what it says. It says, Michael, oops, sorry, Michael fragt, wie geht's dir? And Sabine sagt, gut, danke, und dir? And Michael sagt, oh, nicht so gut, not so good. Es geht mir schlecht. So, obviously that means Michael asks, how goes it for you? So, how are you, how are you doing, basically? Sabina says, good, thank you. And you? Michael says, oh, not so good, literally. And it goes me badly. So, it goes for me badly. So, it does not go well for him, which you can tell by his face and the little idea bubble here with the thumbs down.